San Diego News Now. Just how much can housing prices drop? According to one report, it's not over yet. Consumer Bob says the news may not be as bad here in San Diego as compared to some other cities, however, around yeah, the country. Yeah, if we compare those who are really in rotten shape, yeah. we don't look so Thanks. bad. How about that? <laughs> you know, the report says nearly half the homes in the U.S. will be underwater by the year 2011. This is not a global warming story. No, in real estate terms, underwater means the house is worth less than what you paid for it. But take heart, San Diego may be better off than many cities. It's hard um, on all different levels, emotionally, um, financially, socially. Um, your lifestyle completely changes and your future um, is just up in the air. To Christy Stanberry, these are the cold hard facts of owning a home that is worth less than what she bought it for. Almost everyone I know that owns a home is in underwater. Christy bought her North County home four years ago for just over $400,000. Today, it's worth $250,000. Christie's loan is underwater, worth more than the actual value of her house. Your neighbor's house may have gone down some, your house may have gone down some, but you still have your neighbors, you still have your good schools. Realtor Chris Bedgood says a recent report claiming half of U.S. homes will drop below their original value is distressing, but not the end of the world, especially in San Diego. It's going to come back way quicker than I think most of the rest of the country. Now, this survey looks at houses across the country. It's even worse in some cities like Phoenix and Las Vegas. But here in San Diego, well, we seem to be doing okay. I wouldn't be scared. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just hang in there, get through this, and you're going to be fine in San Diego. That's what Christie is betting on, holding on until the economy and the value of her house can start growing again. I'm here. My son goes to elementary school here. Um, this is our life. This is where I grew up, and this is where I'm going to stay. Now, this study I mentioned says house drop another 14% on average by 2011, down 14%. But again, that's an average. Remember, when it says nearly 50% of homes are underwater with their loans, that means about 50% are above water. So it's not all bad news. Well, lately, our gas prices have been pretty much bad news. And